Mortis is secretly trying to take over Brawl Stars, but you would have never known that by seeing him in game. What plan does he have to do this, and how close is he to completing his goal of becoming the ruler of Star Park? From a trash brawler to a secret mastermind, what else can this little bat do? By the way, make sure to watch to the end of the video because it actually gets crazy. Mortis has been one of the worst brawlers in Brawl Stars for a while now, with a win rate of only 50.5%, but everyone still loves playing him because of his cool movement and attack style. He dashes onto brawlers dealing damage instead of just punching or shooting at them. But the real question is, who actually is Mortis? Mortis's in-game description says, Mortis had grand designs built around being a mortician and a vampire, but the fact that nobody is dying at Star Park has put a huge damper on his plans. We know a few things about Mortis. Mortis is a vampire, but he isn't immortal. We know this because of one of his voice lines that says, Mortis the mortal! And we also know Mortis is a mortician in Star Park, even though nobody dies. But the weirder thing is that there is a mortuary in a theme park. Mortis is, according to Brawl Stars lore, Frank's brother and Ems's uncle. Ems is also said to work at the mortuary. But what are they actually doing? Who are they digging graves for? Why was the mortuary built in the first place? And what is Mortis hiding inside it? Mortis in Latin means of death, which is most likely why he was named Mortis. But there's a much darker and scarier theory of why Mortis was called Mortis. The slow reload theory points out a phenomenon after a person dies called rigor mortis. Rigor mortis is known as the fourth stage of death, where the body's muscles stiffen. Some people think that because Mortis is dead or undead, he experiences rigor mortis resulting in his slow reload speed in game. What do you guys think? In an old Brawl Stars animation from two years ago called Brawloween Stories, we can see Mortis in what looks like the basement of the mortuary. On the shelves in the background, we can see items related to most of the brawlers in the game. There are a few very important items that we can see around the room, like the garlic in Mortis's hand and a few other things I'll bring up later in the video, including a picture of a brawler that wasn't even released yet. Let's start with the garlic. Vampires are known as being intolerant of garlic, and garlic is often used to keep vampires away. So why is Mortis holding some garlic in his hand throughout the animation? You might think that this means Mortis isn't actually a vampire, but it actually confirms it. There's a story about Dracula, one of the most well-known vampires, being immune to the effects of garlic after living in Italy for a few years. That means that Mortis also used to live in Italy and became immune to garlic the same way Dracula did. But why or how is he in Star Park now? When you look at the wording that Supercell uses around Mortis, it seems almost like Mortis willingly became a brawler. In his in-game description, it says that he had grand designs built around being a mortician, which to me sounds like somehow he moved to Star Park to bury all the dead bodies. Later in the description, it says these plans were ruined because nobody ever dies in Star Park. Why would Mortis willingly trap himself in Star Park, and what is he doing now if he isn't a mortician? While I was researching Mortis for this video, I found a very weird website called VillainsFanOnFandom.com. It said that Mortis is the main antagonist of Brawl Stars and Colt's arch enemy. It also lists mass murder under the crimes Mortis has committed. At first, I didn't believe the website at all. I thought it was all fake. But then I looked a little deeper. Was Mortis actually enemies with Colt? And was he the main villain in Brawl Stars? I'll get my friend number one idiot to answer those questions. In the no time to explain animation, we can see Mortis and Colt fighting, but it seems like they were enemies for a long time before that event. The way Mortis looked at Colt with only death in his eyes can confirm that they have been enemies for a long time. But that's not all the proof. If we go all the way back to the Brawloween animation from before and we look in the background, we can see Colt and Belle's hair standing next to each other, almost like he has collected them as a trophy. So what happened to Colt? That's a good question. What actually happened to Colt? By the way, make sure to check out Number One Idiot's channel. He honestly makes great videos. Link in description. I have a theory that Mortis is collecting the souls of Brawlers. I would explain all the stuff we can see in the basement of Mortis's mortuary. Here's one of Mortis's voice lines. Your soul is mine! The voice line is literally telling us that Mortis collects souls, and it's been under our noses this whole time. But what does that tell us about the hair in the mortuary? It means Mortis already collected the souls of Colt, Belle, and all the other Brawlers that we can see in the basement of the mortuary. But I don't think Mortis is doing this all alone.
Like I mentioned before, Mortis used to live in Italy, where he taught his body to be resistant to garlic. There in Italy, he met a man named Chuck. We can also see Chuck's hat in one of the paintings in the mortuary. By the way, this animation was made before Chuck was even released, so it makes it even weirder. In the prison break animation, we can see Chuck at work collecting Bell and Cold Soul. He starts off by fighting them, and then the video just ends with Chuck chasing them. I think this is how Bell and Cold Soul ended up being taken by Morris. There's one problem with so. The prison break video was released after the Brawlween Stories video, meaning that the timeline doesn't match up. There's one way that this can make sense. If Chuck was already in the Brawlween video, that means that the Brawlween video was recorded in Star Park after it was released. This means that the Brawloween animation is actually a message or a warning from the future. But how can we stop Mortis from becoming the ruler of Star Park? Or is it already too late to try? Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to my friend Lost Zero for helping me do all the research for this video. There's literally no information about Mortis online, so it was pretty hard to do. Click on this playlist and watch all my other lore videos so that YouTube will actually start promoting my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you at the next video. Bye!